hot rod hack tip of the day. So this is Kyle's GTO. You notice it's got the scoops here. A lot of these were fake. Mid-68, though, there was an option for a Ram Air 2. It actually made the 400 to 366 horse. And basically, it was an air cleaner assembly with a grommet, like a foam grommet gasket, and these were open. And what that allowed it to do was pull in that cold air, and they called it Ram Air 2. Well, that's a really expensive piece. So what I'm going to have Kyle do is he's going to open the hood and explain how he completed with Todd the hot rod hack tip of the day. Yeah, I think there was, uh, if I remember right, those Raymar cars even had maybe a, a lever inside the car to open the, the cowl or the Ram Air. Um, but yeah, what we've done here is um, this is a Spectre base uh, with a three inch. It's a Spectre base that has a drop to it uh, along with the Edelbrock air cleaner. Or I think that's what that is, but it's a three inch. And um, yeah, so we just took some sheet metal. I couldn't tell you what thickness this is. Todd could probably tell us what it's that 26 is. Gauge. 26 gauge. There we go. Something that was thick enough, but still uh, somewhat pliable, I guess. Yeah, nothing's going to rattle. Yeah, not going to rattle. Uh, still looks good. We polished it up. Todd brought a nice cutting tool over where we, to cut it, you know, we, we put it in here. We found our center. We poked our hole and then... Yeah. Uh, well, Cutter, there was right? a lot of measurements of just uh, being able to uh, make sure this fit without shoving it hard on here. So we did put an actual camera on the inside and would close the hood, uh, take pictures, pop the hood back up. There was a lot of cutting. If you want it to look good and do right, uh, that's what you're going to have to do. But it turned out just like you would look like you would buy a stock air cleaner here. Mm -hmm. uh, so turned out beautiful. So uh, no other issues with that. And... Yeah, um, I don't think, Kyle, you've really taken this out yet to really feel how it, I think it was starting to get cold at the time right. yet, so right. uh, don't know if you noticed any difference or not, but. Well, um, i tell you what I think would be a neat test, because I've seen studies, and they're out there on YouTube, so as everybody probably knows, uh, while they called it a ram air, to truly be ram air, you actually need your scoop somewhere up closer to the front, but what I've read that you can do is take yarn, and tape it to different places on your hood and actually see what type of flow that you are getting into these. So is it truly ram air or is it really more just of a cold air induction? But they say you can get the ram air effect up here and it just kind of, air just kind of floats around here and if anything maybe pushes off of the hood up there and then it can also have a backflow around here, right? That's why a lot of them, uh, you know, with the cal inductions, You'll see it where they're pulling their air back here. But I really like how this turned out. Um, you know, just a custom cold air intake that, uh, as you all know, cold air makes horsepower. So that's much better than breathing the air off the motor. You know, in the, in the past, it was just going right into that air cleaner. So I think it's an improvement. If nothing else, it looks cool. It breathes yeah, for a I'm happy with it. Yeah. you have here so but other than that tip of the day that's it have a good one all right as kyle mentioned he was talking about kyle induction so if you look at eddie the expert's car he's got an air cleaner in there open filter element and on the chevrolet version of the gma body it did actually have a cal induction on there so the whole premise behind that was is the hood the air flew over the hood and kind of went down and got back up in there to supply it with actual cold air. You can see how that sits up there a little bit. So it's a little bit different in design, but you know what? It's all meant to do the same thing. Feed cold air to the motor. Cold air to the motor creates more power. So with that, that is the hot rod hack tip of the day. You have cold air from cow induction, and then you have cold air from sealed forced air. And we are going to do a test on that to kind of show what it is able to do. So that is the hot rod hack of the hack tip of the day. We're all tired. We will see you tomorrow.